welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, Animals and Pets with Bartho. Uh, well, just the other day, uh, there was a um, sort of a posting in my uh, WhatsApp group, Animals and Pets with Bartho. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people have uh, seen it, read it, but I would like to run through what actually that means in the context of India and the and the pet market in India, that especially dog market. Now it reads, puppy farmers want your money. Then there is, uh, you know, a couple of writings underneath, uh, like, you know, you are not buying a Malsi or a Cockapoo or a Labrador or a designer dog. You are buying a mongrel. Well, that could be true. My is true. Then you have been called, that's the heading. Now you're not buying an adorable teacup pup, you're buying a deformed runt bred from brunch. That's the second one. Then you come to the next heading. You have been called again, you know, called. So puppy farmers will sell you a runt, a sick or a dying puppy. While forcing the mums and dads to suffer years of abuse, neglect and misery. Then you have the next heading, very interesting. Puppy farmers sell you lies. Find a responsible bidder with experience and knowledge about their breed before you buy a puppy. Where you buy your puppy is as important as what kind of puppy you buy. So, you know, these are big talks, these are very wise words. But then, let me come and tell you. Well, the breeder. Now, what does the breeder rely on? They rely on a foolproof pedigree system, a system which is not tampered, a system which is not sold for money, a system which has credibility and it has a lot of truth. Only then can a breeder perform. And then where is the assessment of a good breeder's performance? Good breeder's performance is when the dogs go to dog shows, they win, uh, they are, you know, so, uh, they make a, a mark. And then you have lots of classes, like progeny classes, and you see the breeders, some of the breeders really produce spot on, and then lots of knowledgeable judges, and they all are going to sort of, finally, end of the day, you will have the good breeders, the top breeders, uh, it's expected that their dogs are going to win uh, majority. Well, there may be some mistakes, there may be uh, judges, uh, uh, who may uh, alter. Uh, these are uh, part of the game. But then that is all what keeps the dog game going. Because unless there are mistakes, unless there are inconsistent judging, or maybe call it poor judging, uh, a dog game will, you know, uh, will not survive. Because sometimes you need to have the wrong dogs win. <laughs> but then it is only sometimes. But majority of the time is the good breeders that will overpower all the bad breeders and all, you know, all the bad dogs. But then how does that happen? When you completely destroy a system like the uh, syndicate in India over the last decade or so, they completely destroyed the entire system for uh, uh, extracting money from uh, dog lovers in this country. They have, first of all, the pedigree system, the registration system is completely uh, uh, erroneous. And they have been supplying uh, uh, what you call bundles and bundles of uh, microchips and uh, registration papers that, you know, that microchip, of course, has been taught you can put it into any dog, even if you put it in a donkey that becomes the own the dog's papers because the donkey becomes the owner of the dog's papers. <laughs> it's just part of that. <laughs> this I'm joking, but you know that's what happens. So what is the the truth is that most of the dogs which have been dead and gone, but they're champions, they're imports and things like that, their papers are in continuous use. And it is done with the specific uh, understanding with the syndicate uh, who runs a network of registration system across the country through its agents. And those agents run the dog shows. And the dog shows are mostly, well, 99% are completely corrupt. And they are judged by uh, very corrupt judges. And they have a company, a company from Europe, which supplies majority corrupt judges. They have some brilliant judges, of course, a few of them. Uh, well, I can count it in my fingers. 
these are the top judges who would not for any reason uh, sort of uh, uh, they will hardly make mistakes and if, they, if it is a mistake it's a genuine mistake it's an honest mistake but otherwise they will be spot on every time and not only that their honesty cannot be questioned but they are just a few very rare category of judges that you find from Europe but the rest of them there's so many thousands of judges and they're all vying to get appointments get want to get a holiday to a different country and why not India India is uh, you know the, uh, well, the oldest civilizations of the world and if you haven't visited India well it is, it means, uh, you really uh, will not be considered uh, as a traveler or a important uh, traveler a judge of course a dog show judge uh, travels around the world and if you've not been invited to India which is so easy you just got to accept what the syndicate and his uh, associates and his uh, what he calls stooges tell you to do just put up those dogs so what happens the total system is corrupt now the breeders who have been selling these dogs who are selling breeders have become rare they are actually breeding these dogs for the pet shop the entire country thousands of pet shops across and they're cropping up every day you just every, anybody or everybody just takes a pet shop license they put some dog food there some pet products there some toys there and then they start selling all types of pets yeah you have a lot of people wanting pets you know it's impulsive buying people come and buy rabbits people come, come and buy they want a puppy uh, children come they see a puppy they say oh, we want it the parents buy it next day they're not you know after a couple of days they're fed up with it they don't know how to take care of it they want to give it away to somebody they will come and return it to the pet shop and the pet shop can resell it again so uh, of course they don't return the money well, in most cases that is uh, acceptable that uh, livestock is not returnable across the world well this has been going on and it, the entire system so where is that breeder that great breeder that we were once breeders because our breeding we used to sell direct to customers who would, uh, I mean, uh, uh, fanciers, who would wait for our breeding, maybe six months, maybe a year, they would wait. And in certain cases, once we had litter, they would rush to pay in advance, so that the, as soon as the puppy is ready to travel, they would love to have it. So that was the situation where I started breeding dogs, and we enjoyed. And all our puppies were given to wonderful, wonderful people. We were able to choose. Of course, there could be some mistakes somewhere. Then came a time, you know, of course, as you know, most breeders will land up uh, breeding more bad dogs, rude dogs. So you will have a lot of pet quality dogs and you don't want the pet quality dogs to be bought by show quality, show minded people because then that is bad advertisement. So what you do is that you don't want to give papers or you don't want to, you want to remain anonymous. You don't want your name to be attached to that dog as, because if it is from you, they think it has to be a show dog. People don't understand that when a breeder breeds, he breeds more bad dogs than good dogs. That is the uh, rule, a uh, thumb rule for uh, breeders. Now comes the situation, what has happened? The breeders are not now really bothered to breed great dogs because those dogs are not going to win. So winning a dog shows depends on your handler, how good he is, how close to the organizer he is, whether he can manage the judges, whether he can bribe the exhibitors, uh, uh, what he call the uh, committee, uh, club committee, and then of course the club committee fixes the judges. So they are sponsors for every show. And those sponsors are responsible for putting in the money for organizing that show. That is the story in India. And this is under the system of the syndicate. Everybody knows who the syndicate is and whom I am meaning. Because there are court cases and people want new elections, people want new committees, people want to get rid of him. But he is sticking on to it because there is a lot of money involved and he and his associates uh, as long as he's there, his associates also make the money. So all together, they are, see, the, the entries have fallen. There are very few entries uh, at shows organized by the syndicate and his associates. But then 
uh, they want to do it because it doesn't matter if only a few dogs are entered what does it matter because the money has to the show is sponsored beforehand so the profits to the organizers and to the you know the you know the pocket money i would like to say and also the judges also have a great time they not only have a great travel they travel to india they uh, tour uh, certain places uh, and they also get a lot of pocket money to do shopping so all that is paid for so why not the circus must go on so what i would like to say is that the entire system we don't have breeders anymore because there is no recognition breeders if they breed great dogs they have to win they will i wish to breed better dogs than the dogs that were being imported we always bred better dogs uh, than you know uh, in fact i bred better dogs than uh, if i used a dog on my bitches and uh, my puppies would have would be beating the father see i have gone off a lot of breeds like dobermans and dachshunds they are very easy to breed please even if you uh, I mean i would say if you are not uh, masters in uh, genetics or something like that uh, if you only have a great eye an eye for the perfect uh, uh, you know uh, the dog if you can visualize a great dog and then you breed to it towards it you have a bitch and you want to pair it to a male so all the faults in that bitch the males should compensate so you know when you combine you you do get one or two puppies that is much better than both the parents in many cases what has happened what really happened with me i gave up certain breeds and i went for different breeds now you would say why did you do that well i because i started losing to my own home breeds that's the truth i bred dachshunds and so many of them numerous the bitches and those bitches produced great dogs and their puppies also produced even greater dogs and so what happened i was under a continuous competition from the progenies that i actually sold out so i had to go off breeding off breeding those breeds then i went into new breeds where i also achieved certain amount of success and after that i found that the competition getting hot because i want to if you show dogs you would like to win may not be the top awards at least your satisfaction at least win the breed or a challenge or something like that then what has happened is the dog shows have lost its meaning uh, to a great extent because of the new system of the european system where uh, uh, excellent means every dog is excellent means you have excellent one excellent two excellent three excellent four in one class so what is happening is in a breed what is happening excellent one and excellent four a great deal of difference excellent one is, is a wonderful dog excellent four is a bad dog now then <laughs> you cannot give it very good that is unacceptable i have judged in many countries and a lot of countries and it is really indecent to give anybody a very good so all dogs must be graded excellent an excellent one excellent two excellent three excellent four it doesn't really make any meaning well the british system was so perfect it's still there is the challenge certificate is something which the judges uh, it's the judges discretion the judges was evaluate the dog to that level where it considers that this dog is capable or should or fit into all the necessity all the necessary specifications to become a champion so you know it is the judges reputation attached to that uh, championship certificate so now i have seen some lot of great judges who refuse challenge certificates to the entire breed they have completely decategorized the breed they have said none of them resemble the standard so this is the sort of judges that came from uk and uh, you know uh, even australia but then you have this new system where all the bad dog everybody is a champion and the moment you become a champion you are out of the class so you, the inferior dogs compete for the uh, ch uh, challenge so it's just a commercial endeavor to produce these dogs under the syst syndicate system you just it's a commercial but how long can it run now people have all understood that's why they don't go to breeders they don't trust them and the breeders are also not wanting to sell directly because they are producing bad dogs they know and because they are producing those dogs only for pet shops they are only wanting to sell it through pet shops 
where the customer has no access to the breeder and the seller will bullshit anything they want and sell it to the customer because he gets he not only gets a profit on the first sale then the dog usually in most cases will come back because the impulsive buyer is going to return it to the pet shop he's going to resell it and then resell and things like that and you see so much of abundant dogs which is uh, there uh, uh, everywhere in india uh, uh, and uh, you know it is really alarming i would suggest that we all give a thought to it we have to first rectify the system through this syndicate away and its associates completely from the dogs uh, show scenario and we have to uh, bring credibility to the uh, uh, dog shows and then only we will have more, better breeders breeders who will aspire to produce such dogs that they are going to be winning at dog shows on their merit and not uh, uh, because of money spent by certain people thank you and see you again in my next episode in a short while thank you